in three Belgian cities, Amur, Brussels, and Antwerp. And uh, now we're already preparing the third edition. So we al already had a uh, first one in 2019, a second one last year, ish. And uh, we're preparing for a third one in September. Hola a todo el mundo y bienvenidos a creo que será el último encuentro que tendremos hoy. Eh, os quiero presentar un taller que, en el que ha participado nuestro compañero Tino. Eh, el proyecto, tenemos también un proyecto que se llama Homelands, en colaboración con la Fundación de Julio Menuhin de Bélgica. Y eh, a él llegan los artistas. Ha sido un, un proyecto de co-creación eh, de unos seis meses, eh, desarrollado en tres ciudades de Bélgica. Y eh, hemos tenido encuentros, eh, en tres ediciones, perdón. Eh, la primera en el 2019, la segunda más o menos se hizo en el 2020 y ahora tendremos la tercera sesión en septiembre. So, uh, the project, how does it work? Um... We uh, choose uh, refugee or newcomer artists. We choose a social culture uh, partner, and we put them together. And together they will have to uh, give a workshop with the local community, and uh, they have to co-create an artistic project around the theme of homelands, where is my home, where do I belong? Uh, they start with a one-week artistic residency where uh, trainers at Anthanda give them tools to give a workshop, tools to uh, run co-creation, and uh, how to handle differences of culture, how to handle difficult situations, and so on. And during the six months, they also have two uh, one-day training uh, and the object of the training depends on the needs of the artist at that moment. Uh, and so the artist and the social cultural partner uh, give weekly workshops to a local community and at the end they have an exhibition, a concert, it depends on what the co-creation led to um, in the project. ¿Cómo funciona el proyecto? Solemos juntar a refugiados o artistas nuevos con un eh, colaborador y lo que hacen es trabajar con la comunidad eh, eh, local. Recordemos el nombre del proyecto, Homelands. Eh, hace referencia a nuestro hogar, de dónde venimos, a dónde pertenecemos. Eh, en esa experiencia en, en la que se realiza una residencia artística, se dan herramientas eh, para crear el taller y también para gestionar situaciones difíciles, situaciones en las que hay que lidiar con diferencias culturales, etc. Eh, eh, el primer día se le va a realizar una formación eh, en la que bueno, depende bastante de las necesidades del artista. Y también realizamos talleres semanales, eh, como decía, con la comunidad local. So, the objective of Homeland Spaces of Belonging is really to uh, promote inclusion and facilitate the inclusion of the refugee artists uh, in, the, uh, in this local community and to promote uh, intercultural dialogue between the community and the artist. It's a really an exchange between the both. Uh, it's also uh, a training program, thanks to the artistic residency and the uh, training during the, uh, during the project. And um, it's a way also to help the artist to uh, integrate in the professional life and cultural life of Belgium of where he lives. ¿Cuáles son nuestros objetivos? Nuestros objetivos eh, son promover la inclusión, 
sobre todo eh, de artistas eh, refugiados eh, en la comunidad local. Queremos promover también el diálogo cultural, tanto eh, con la comunidad como con el artista. Eh, como decía, es un programa de formación eh, que lo que hace es facilitar eh, la integración de ese artista en la vida cultural y también la vida en general en México. And then why do we use co-creation for the workshops? Thanks to co-creation, it's a way also to have a dialogue between the two, the artist and the participants in the workshop. And to share, uh, as said here, the power of the making. So the uh, participants really participate in the project, in the artistic uh, project. And, um, As I said, it's a way to create a dialogue and uh, also a uh, participant is active and it helps him to develop also his creative thinking and way of doing. ¿Por qué eh, recurrimos a la co-creación en nuestros talleres? Bueno, es una manera de promover el diálogo, así como de eh, compartir el poder de crear juntos. Los participantes, valga la redundancia, participan en el proyecto, pero lo hacen de una manera activa. Así es como eh, logran desarrollar su pensamiento y su creatividad. And so, as I said in the beginning, uh, we are currently doing online co-creation workshops because with the COVID year uh, behind us, we were thinking about how to co-create digitally, because it's not really made for it. Co-creation, it's together, it's sharing, it's contact, it's dialogue, and through a, a window, it's not easy. So Ando, Yusa, and Raul uh, thought about how to give a workshop that way around co-creation. Uh, and the goal of the workshop, at the end of the workshop, uh, they want the participants to know what co-creation really is, the potentials and challenges of creating online, how to make a bridge between old analog art practices and new digital tools, how to address and manage your audience, and how to design a co-creative process online. Como he dicho eh, al comienzo, eh, eh, nuestros talleres se basan en la co-creación y dada la situación eh, de pandemia que hemos vivido, hemos tenido que pasarla en formato online. Eh, ¿Cómo se hace esto eh, a través de una pantalla? Eh, porque eh, la idea de co-crear se basa en estar todos juntos, compartir, tener contacto y tener una ventana de por medio no es fácil. Los objetivos de eh, los talleres de cooperación eh, son que los participantes eh, entiendan realmente en qué consiste la cooperación, entender también los potenciales, eh, el potencial y los retos de eh, este proceso de, eh, de creatividad online. Un momento, <risa> más carilla y, y baja. Eh, también eh, cómo construir eh, puentes entre el arte realizado de forma análoga y también aunando las eh, herramientas digitales. Eh, también eh, dirigir, cómo dirigirse a tu público y cómo gestionarlo. Y finalmente cómo diseñar un proceso online que sea co-creativo. So, uh, these workshops are also recorded. And at the end, with the recordings, we wish to uh, make, realize uh, a video documentary about co-creation online that we will uh, share in June, hopefully, on uh, the Homeland Project website, if you're interested. So what I'm offering you is uh, to watch and participate, participate to one of the activities that was done during the first online workshop. Um, <laughs> You can all grab uh, four pieces of paper, and if you don't have a pen, I have one if you need one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
talleres se han grabado y al final de los talleres queremos que los participantes, eh, que los participantes realicen como una especie de documental. Eh, lo que os ofrezco hoy es ver y participar eh, en una de las actividades que hemos hecho en, en uno de estos talleres online. Así que lo que me gustaría que ustedes es que cojáis cuatro folios. Y si necesitáis también un bolígrafo o lo que sea, me lo podéis pedir. So, uh, for this uh, video, I think you don't need to send installation, but if you do, just raise your hand and I'll pause it. Yo creo que no vamos a necesitar interpretación con este video, pero si hay alguna duda podéis levantar la mano y lo necesito ya sería. Maybe just for the beginning when she uh, explains what to do, but then you'll follow the video. Quizá al principio pues, eh, vamos a ver más detalles porque va a explicar cómo va, pero luego va a ser más fácil. Empty, because you are going to write on it, or draw, as you wish. Yeah, can you have your papers? <laughs> you're, you're ready. So it will be something different. And, and as, uh, Ra as uh, Andor said, um, we just taste. Huh? And uh, what, what, when we were preparing this session, uh, as all of you, we experienced this locked in caged in situation um, on a personal level it has its impact but also as an artist and for co-creation so we were analyzing it philosophing on it uh, and um, what i would like to do is i'm going to show you um, I, I prepared a powerpoint and don't be afraid you get it afterwards but not no, we just uh, so I will give you some assignments, and the thing is, you don't have to think too much. You just have to spontaneously react and do. There's no good, there's no bad. Just uh, don't be too severe on yourself. And I start my PowerPoint. Uh, you see it? Is that up? Oh. Is do you see it? Yes. Yes. So um, uh, we would like to. But what is important that we are in this situation, and um, as an artist, it has a lot of uh, challenges. I mean, you're blocked in. You don't have this eye contact or other contact to create, to, to, uh, to share. And you have also this immense impact of the technology on the artist, artistic uh, practice. And uh, I think it's very important that you're not afraid of it and that we, we don't lose the old school thing. I mean, painting with a brush or, or dancing with your body. Uh, because what is happening now that is everything is virtual is 
not material. Our contact is through the glass on the screen. That is how we have contact. And even if you try to look in someone's eyes, um, it, yeah, you do it. But it's different than, of course, in real life. Okay. Evidentemente no tenemos contacto visual a la hora de compartir y crear. Eh, sí que es verdad que la tecnología eh, ha tenido un gran impacto porque nos ha ayudado en este proceso, en, también en las prácticas artísticas, eh, pero eh, desde aquí, pues eh, recordemos, no quisiera que se perdieran las costumbres antiguas, ¿no? Eh, las costumbres físicas, el bailar, el hacer cosas con nuestro cuerpo, porque eh, aunque estemos en formato virtual, eh, claro, ya no tenemos esos materiales, no podemos vernos, no podemos tocarnos, estamos a través de una pantalla. Incluso si intentáis hacer el contacto visual con otras personas, va a ser muy difícil porque va a ser a través de una pantalla. Oh, it's uh, what we are supposed to do to react about the images. Wait, wait, wait. Ah, uh, well, just try to relax and accept the situation. I will clearly say when it's your... Of course, you can react. Mm -hmm. While we were preparing, um, it was Raúl who came with this image of Okay, our body is is in, in the screen is also locked in in the frame. We we can turn forwards and try to to be clear, or we can go uh, further away. But we are in fact captured in a trapezium, hmm? and um, in the Renaissance, the the genre of the portraits was very important and that's what we are, this is our topic, portraits. Uh, this is the old school uh, and in the Renaissance, of course, it was very important to not only look to God, but, but to the human around us. And the, the, the science was very important, so discovery of how this uh, trapezium, this part of our body, what muscles we need and how it functions. Mm -hmm. You know, this is from Leonardo da Vinci. Huh? He, uh, he did a lot of experiments. And this is a typical Renaissance uh, portrait. Um, and it's, I don't know whether you know why he's having this skull in his hand. You know? Oh, I don't hear you. Okay. <laughs> so, what is going on is that in Renaissance, um, period, and it's very similar in a way to the period we are living in now, is that the belief in the capacities, the possibilities, the talents uh, humans had was very, very big, eh? and it was a kind of vanitas, idleness. And, um, uh, and it's very dangerous to think you are like God or you are God, but because there's one thing you cannot forget, one day we will not be here anymore. We cannot be as idle as we want, we cannot be as bad, as good as we want, but one day we will vanish. So this is a warning for everyone, also for the contemporary uh, human beings. And uh, this is a, a modern portrait, it's a selfie. Uh, anonymous, put on Facebook or, or somewhere on the on internet, everybody of, over the whole world can see this man and you see that he's, uh, he's looking at himself, but he's showing himself. It's not only showing, it's clear that he's also aware of and he wants to, to, to be sure that what he wants to show is he can, he can uh, control. Mm -hmm. So this is the modern Vanitas portrait. And there we see. Bueno, al momento no tenéis que hacer nada en concreto, simplemente relajaos. Ya os indicaré yo lo que tenéis que hacer ahora al momento. En primer lugar, veíamos eh, la foto de Raúl, 
vemos eh, más o menos eh, su cuerpo encuadrado en, en la pantalla, eh, aunque sí que es verdad que si queremos que nos vea más, pues tendremos a acercarnos y, y si no, pues nos alejamos. Eh, pero lo que vemos es que lo más importante se queda como una forma de trapez, si os dais cuenta. Eh, pasando a la siguiente foto, eh, tenemos un retrato del de Renacimiento, eh, lo que llamaríamos la vieja escuela, ¿no? Era importante observar a Dios, pero también observar y estudiar al ser humano. Era, eh, un momento, ha sido un momento en el que eh, el ser humano quería descubrir el cuerpo, eh, cómo funcionaba, etc. Y eh, hemos visto también retratos hechos por Da Vinci y Ingenio. Eh, digo, no vamos a estar aquí algún día. Un día nos vamos a desvanecer, vamos a desaparecer. Eh, pero también es verdad que en el Renacimiento eh, el ser humano empezó a crear en sus eh, capacidades, en sus talentos, igual que ocurre hoy en día. Y por último hemos visto una foto más contemporánea, un selfie eh, de una persona anónima. El hombre, eh, si veis, está haciendo contacto visual, pero también es como si estuviera eh, viendo a su público. Eh, parece que quiere asegurarse de que lo que él quiere mostrar eh, se está, se está viendo. It's hard. <laughs> This is outdoor. <laughs> uh, well, I have three series of portraits, and at a certain moment I will say, okay, we start, and then I will show you one after the other, and you will be able to write on it. The first series is about the screen between us, the screen meeting, between you and me. That is, so I made a choice and it was very difficult because there are mass of uh, portraits. Huh? Um, so, um, we, will, we will see. Huh? This is, here we start. So, take your paper, one paper, write in the middle the word me, you, screen meeting. And so, Graciela, this is an answer on your question. I will, sh will show in this series of Me, You, Screen Meeting several paintings of different times, even medieval, and um, of course, most of them are from the Western um, history of art, but that's another issue. So, pr presenting on ourselves Uh, to others. So what I'm going to do is step by step, uh, one after the other, I show you a portrait. You just write down what you see, what you feel, what impression you have or what connection you can make with this portrait. Okay? With each of them. 
Well, if, if there are some you say, I don't know, you just let it go. But just try to, and on the same paper around this MEU screen meeting, you note down the associations, the souvenirs, the remarks, the hints and the likes, whatever. Y bueno, la mayoría, como decir, todos son, eh, pertenecen al arte occidental, pero bueno, ese es otro tema. Eh, con lo cual, ahora, eh, conforme os lo vaya eh, mostrando, lo que quiero que hagáis es que escribáis eh, alrededor de lo que habéis escrito al principio del New Street Meeting. Eh, quiero que escribáis eh, lo que observáis, eh, cómo os sentís las impresiones o, o la conexión que realizáis con este retrato, lo que sintáis y en el, en el mismo papel. Vale. Pero de este retrato, ¿qué va no, a ver? Es que vamos a ver. ¿Es everybody ready? Yes. 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 Ready. Yes. So uh, don't uh, be angry, cross with me. I on purpose give you little time. So it's no question of uh, 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 just react. If there's no reaction, that's okay. Really? Good? Yes. Are you ready? Yes! yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> go, go, go.
So, was it difficult? Okay. Uh, you saw a, a whole range of different uh, techniques, different ways of self-representation, uh, presentation, uh, modern, old, all mixed together. And um, of course, if for a portrait, uh, the background is also very important uh, that we have seen and the background we know when we have contact <laughs> by screen mostly is in our intimate room you're all sitting somewhere in your house and so I get an insight of not only of you but also you in your intimate place it also uh, tells a story so from all those words Circle one. Choose one and circle it. Ya habéis visto que hay, eh, bueno, los retratos que hemos visto eh, en diferentes técnicas, son diferentes épocas, eh, etc. También hemos visto que el background, eh, en el sentido de en dónde nos encontramos, es importante. Porque eh, estamos en la intimidad de casa, tranquilos, y los lugares también cuentan una historia. Ahora bien, lo que quiero que hagáis es que de todas las palabras que habéis escrito, quiero que rodeéis solo una. Sí. Any suggestions how to, or what to put in consideration, or just spontaneously? Free, you can, or you should choose the one you, you have the most difficulties with or the one uh, that really says something about you, or about the world, or you like, whatever. Or you can hide behind, because showing always goes together with hiding. Yes, okay. We have to hide one word. You have to circle. Choose, choose one and I the another one. No, no, no. It's only one. Choose one and the word is like the most feeling, the one you hate, the one you love. You choose whatever one you want. And circle it. Yeah. And circle it. Here we go to the second series. And the second series is about the thing, the object. Before we start, I would like you to go and choose a, an object, a thing that for you has a meaning because an emotion or something is very special or maybe it's something you don't like but your wife put it in the room and you always fall over it, whatever. Look for an object and come back. Okay. I'll be back, I'll be back, I'm going to choose. Do you want to do it or not? I'm going to choose it. It's enough that you think of it. Yeah. 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 Así que antes de comenzar, lo que quiero que hagáis es que os levantéis y busquéis un objeto que significa algo para vosotros desde el punto de vista emocional, que os guste o quizá que no os guste. Eh, como estamos en casa, en teoría, pues a lo mejor un objeto que nos gusta y que vuestra mujer o vuestro marido ha puesto ahí porque sí, lo nuestro todos los días, lo que queráis, lo que significa algo para vosotros. Do you want to do it, or is it too complicated? Do you want to quickly grab something in your room, or do you have all 
Back to the share screen. Voilà. So I'm going to show you a, se a series of portraits with an object. Even if the interpretation might be strange, just accept it. Huh? Uh, and the same assignment you look, you connect to it in one way or another and you write down some words and in the mid you get the second sheet and you write in the middle me thing. So take it to the second sheet, right in the middle, me thing, and then we start. And this, the thing you see this is a stick of a <laughs> Okay, we start. It's the same uh, principle as the first one. What do you feel? What do you see? How do about you... the picture? Yeah, about okay, the picture. Okay. Not especially the Not special object, object, but, but yeah. the whole. What's in her hand? A dead bird.
This is the portrait from Van Gogh of Gogol. <laughs> So it's not about knowing, this is from Vermeer, it, is, it was, uh, uh, there was a film of it, a girl with the pearl, uh, the pearl earring, just what do you see, what do you feel, can you connect with it or not? This is a, a self-portrait of Rebecca Horn. This is a contemporary artist. <laughs> So this was the second series, and now I'm going to the third one. But it's clear that every painting or representation tells a story or it uh, generates souvenirs or like aesthetical uh, aest um, uh, experience. Um, So, and yeah. this is also from the main thing pictures. Yeah, yeah, but that is later. You mean the picture itself? No, you said that that from the first uh, page that yeah. we choose one of the pictures. And you do again, but uh, not a picture, a word, huh? Ah, a word. Yeah, one of the words. Okay. Ready? Yes, I, I, I'm just not ready to, to find the words. Ooh, don't take too much. Okay. Spontaneously, <laughs> even if it's the, a mistake. Okay. Yes, everybody ready? Yes. So now we go to the third series and now me inside. Um, even if a painter wants to make a rather realistic uh, representation of someone, like he sees him with his own eyes. There's always this this ambiance or the, um, the little details that maybe for you and not for the painter reveals something. Huh? So we start with the me inside. <laughs>
Situation you were in the last year, uh, the locked locked in the caged one, not having contact, uh, uh, whatever you have been through the process. So choose a color, but you make you uh, try to give it nuances uh, that it is more 
uh, refined. For example, if green is your color, then you can uh, you make a composite grass, wind, green. Pensar, eh, por ejemplo, en la situación que habéis vivido el año pasado eh, con el confinamiento y darle matices. Eso es lo que quiero que hagáis, que le deis matices y que estén relacionados con lo que habéis vivido el año pasado. Por ejemplo, aquí, si yo elijo la palabra verde y green, pues he creado una palabra compuesta, grass, green, green, eh, que sería más o menos eh, hierba, eh, viento, verde. No he entendido. O sea, he entendido lo que has dicho en la traducción, pero no sé qué es lo que. No me he pensado, ¿no? No hace falta pensar, es algo más performático. Pero hay que ser con un color. Dos palabras y un color. No necesariamente. Un color, sí, y a partir de ahí, si quieres. Lo que tú quieras. Le das tú los matices que quieras. Si se te ocurre. Si se me ocurre. That's your first word or the first line of your poem. I have a question. Yes. <laughs> Is this composite word from the words that we circled? No, you can. If, you, if for you, uh, you feel inspired by it, you can. But you can also maybe, uh, maybe you didn't write it down. Yes, you can use the words on your papers, on the three papers, if you want to. Yeah, si os ha inspirado oh. Oh. Okay, thank you. So we go to the second line. And you write down two words that are the opposite of each other and opposite feelings you experienced in this period. For example, lost weakness. So which means that, that in your example, lost. And breathe lo this is our opposite. For me. Maybe not for you. Eh? But it can also be good, bad, or sad, happy, joy, whatever. And there again, you can choose words of your papers, of the words you wrote down. And also other words. You can use other words when you can inspire yourself. We go to the third line. Three words. And for this line, you choose one of the three words you circled. And then you complete this word with two other words. And it can also come from your papers. So I repeat three words. One is a word you circled. And you complete this word with other words, and this word can come from, can be written down on your papers. In the third line, we are going to choose three words. One has to come from those words that you have chosen previously. The other two can be from the rest, so you can complete it. From the rest and from the rest that you have surrounded. The only challenge we have, Ilse, 
in the farm. <laughs> is that okay? Well, we are almost there. But I can still go on that. The fourth line, four words. Um, a second word, uh, one of the words you circle. You make a sentence with it, with a verb. A complete sentence. With a second circle. You do a circle word and you make a sentence with that word. Mm. Ahora, a raíz de las palabras que habéis eh, rodeado, escogéis una y de ella vais a crear una frase añadiendo el nuevo. Ah. En la cuarta mm -hmm. línea de las palabras, sí. Yo la añado así, es una también. Y aquí, o sea, yo creo que la palabra es una palabra que me tiene un perro. Me tiene un perro. Ya ve, ahí mira, se con la segunda una de las que rodea cualquiera de las tres que no se ha dado la otra es que he cogido ya una ah vale lo que hace es coger una palabra que has rodeado y de esa palabra creas una frase de la tercera línea para la cuarta Sí, pero de la tercera línea. No, no. 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 Vale, It's bien. always a different line. Okay. least the last line only one word and this word is the last word we still have one of the circled words Elf means that we have 11 words. 
Come in all the words you have in your own words. A fairy. So is there someone who wants to read his poem? Bueno, lo escribo, lo leo tal como lo he escrito. Si luego queréis que traduzca, traduzco. Gris cel de cristal, pureza, alegría, joc, provocador, malal, forçat, la foscor, aixafa, dolçament, desdibuixat. Gris cel de cristal, pureza, alegría, juego, provocador, enfermo, forzado, la oscuridad, la oscuridad, Achafa, wow. pisa, pisa, pero no es pisa, Machaca. es, no Machaca. tampoco, achafa es, Zafar, chafa, machacar, chafa. la oscuridad machaca dulcemente, desdibujando. A cell, prison cell, I know, crystal, purity, joy, alegría y juego, game, provocador, teasing, enfermo, sick, forzado, something that is forced, la oscuridad, darkness, machaca, smash, la oscuridad machaca dulcemente, smash. Mueble hogar marrón, luz oscuridad, arte espera castigo, la locura ha de apresurarse, cuidar. <laughs> Furniture, home, uh, brown, light, darkness, art, waiting, punishment. Craziness must, uh, is going to be rushed. Taking care. It's it's impossible with yeah. fantasy, you know, so I don't really understand. It's impossible. You want I try to do it in English and Spanish. Yeah. So maybe it's easier for you. <laughs> <laughs> eh, un elfo significa esperanza preocupada naranja, encerrada y liberada, de suciedad sangrienta y enjollada, con mentes poderosas que pueden liberar, ego. And now in English, an elf means... Hope, worried, orange, trapped and free, with dirty, bloody jewels, with powerful minds that can free, ego, more or less. Thank you. Anyone else? Mine is in English. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, an elf means mind, dark, blue, lonely, illusion, all spontaneous expression, we're becoming spiritual childhood. 
Azul, ventana, libertad, represión, seguridad, respeto, tristeza, dolor, la luz al final del camino, elegancia. Molve, ¿ah? ¿Qué te lo traduzco? Yo lo gesticulo de Vale, venga. Violeta, cielo, oscuro, fuerza, debilidad, pasión. Elegancia, sufrimiento. La naturaleza proporciona fuerza y energía vital. Agilidad. ¿Me has hecho el último? ¿Eh? ¿Eh? ¿Me has hecho el último? No, 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 Lleno, rápido, tiempo, paz, darse cuenta. La locura no es más que un punto de vista. Flotar. ¿Qué? Arena, agua, azul. Miedo, nostalgia. Imaginación, sueños, esperanza. Huir de la confusión. Huir de la autocompasión. Claro. So, uh, woke, wake up with this morning, I feel blues and sad. I become mad. But don't think twice it's all right, because my piano has been drinking, not me. And one day, I knocking on heaven's door. And my instrument is like this. It's, it's a big association. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's my turn. It's in English. Okay. Ready? Varnished reddish brown wood, faded focus, unseen burden, half smile, awaiting the emergence of spring, comfort. Verde, esperanza, valor. Color, carnaval, perdón. Locura, cordura. Color, esperanza, diversión. El color verde me inspira esperanza. Inspiración. Risas, violeta, mujeres. Imaginación, perdida. Belleza, locura, descubrimiento. La tranquilidad de vivir el presente. Fortaleza. Eh, amarillo, vainilla, confortable. Resguardo, equilibrio. Jugamos, pensativa, al escondite. Estamos cabalgando los acontecimientos. Serenidad. Ok. Te ayudamos entre todos. Venga. Violeta, foresta con ombra. Libertad o tradimento. Cappello, giullare, tanto oro. Tradita, passerà. È personale o sociale? Tradita. Tradita e strescia nada. Mi dice él. Es como Violet in a forest with shadow, freedom or traición. Head. Jular uh, is the medieval juggling in the, a lot of gold. Tradita, traicionada. We will, it will go, it's personal or it's a social. Tradita. En italiano más poesía es. Más bonito. Sí, ¿no? sí, sí italiano. Sueño naranja, parada, solución, idear, cotidianidad, resolutiva, la introspección necesaria para crear, emoción.
So it was really a time also during this workshop to have an introspective moment about how, as an artist or as a teacher or as a cultural worker, how we actually kind of felt during this COVID year, uh, confronting ourselves, confronting our art, interaction with others, and this activity allowed us to make a beautiful thing. <laughs> Al final lo que han tenido y lo que habéis tenido al realizar este programa ha sido un momento de introspección. Next, pasa palabra. En este hemos reflexionado sobre cómo nos hemos sentido debido a la situación por el COVID y cómo nos hemos enfrentado tanto a nosotros mismos como a nuestro propio arte.